بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم I am Dr. Ahmad Noman and today we are going to start textile industry so mainly the title of our lecture is uh, raw materials flow sheet diagrams unit operation and unit processes and applications of textile industry so this topic is quite uh, broad and it's uh, not possible to cover it in a single lecture so we will have uh, four to five lectures in which we will cover all the related stuff so this is the first lecture of the series and today in this lecture we will discuss about the uh, basic introduction of textile industry what it is and <coughs> then we will uh, describe some types of industries and also what is the uh, textile raw materials so in this lecture we will describe uh, these parts and then we will continue from the next lectures so what actually is textile uh, textile is a uh, uh, latin word which is actually originated from the word tech or textura uh, there it can be pronunciated in two different ways <coughs> so it is its meaning is to weave I mean this come uh, Urdu mein bunai karna kehte hain kisi cheez ki so textile ke matlab hain bunana kisi cheez ko bunai karna to weave something and uh, the actual uh, uh, the textile industry does not only involve the process of uh, weaving but the process of designing in which uh, uh, first we design a product whether we are uh, going to manufacture some kind of fabric or um, we are going to develop some kind of carpet and what if first we have to design and then we uh, <coughs> go towards the developmental process to uh, develop some raw materials and the uh, mechanical part which are uh, required for the manufacturing of those materials and <coughs> after the development of the required tool then we actually go towards the manufacturing process of those textile products <coughs> and after uh, we develop uh, these products the next and the one of the most important process is the distribution or marketing and delivering those textile products from taking from the industry and giving it to the end user and <coughs> these all processes <coughs> sorry including the research design development manufacturing and distribution of different textiles including fabrics or clothing or carpets whatever so these are all included in the textile industry so this uh, lecture mein jo hai hum, uh, jo ke it will be around four three four or five lecture about textile industry so we will cover all of these as uh, or most of these aspects of textile industry okay so now let's move towards the classification of textile <coughs> so we can uh, classify uh, textile products and uh, textile uh, <coughs> industries into different categories and uh, there are there can be different parameters on which the classification can be done normally we uh, classify textiles uh, based on their component fibers from what they are made of or uh, kind of structure and how they are made of the process of manufacturing or also we can uh, ca categorize them in on the basis of the quality or the <coughs> uh, uses where we are going to use them <coughs> so normally the textiles are classified according to their component fibers for example we can 
divide them into fibers which are made of silk, wool, linen, or cotton, which are uh, the natural, which are made of from natural fibers. Similarly, there are uh, textile products which are made from synthetic fibers like rayon, nylon, polyesters. So this is the another category of textile which are made of the man-made or synthetic fibers. Similarly, there are textiles, uh, textile products which are made from inorganic fiber like cloth of gold, glass fiber or asbestos cloth. So based on the uh, type of fiber which we are using, we can classify them into different categories, either natural, uh, made from natural fiber, made from synthetic fiber or some kind of inorganic fiber. Similarly. Uh, how they are made of actually uh, we can uh, divide the textiles on the basis of their structure or uh, the weaving process whether they are uh, weaved or knitted or they are just made composites so based on their manufacturing process we can also categorize them then another factor which uh, can be used to categorize is uh, the value or quality of tec uh, textiles and that actually also depends on various factors uh, one of them is the quality of the raw materials what kind of um, quality uh, of the raw materials we are using and then another uh, parameter is the uh, character of the yarn which is spun from the fiber so whether that yarn is either clean it is smooth it is fine or it's just a coarse kind of material also, uh, we have to see that whether it's the twisting is hard, soft or medium. So that actually uh, determines the quality of the final textile product. <coughs> Similarly, the density of weaving and finishing processes are important elements in determining the quality of fabrics. And that uh, actually play a role in categorizing the uh, textile products based on their quality. Another variation of the textile product is embroidered products uh, which have uh, include embroidery on the uh, fabric surface. This is uh, a type of uh, textile industry is uh, formation of carpets etc. So the carpet hai, kaleen vera jo bante hai, this is another branch of or another type of textile fabric. <coughs> Similarly, there are other uh, specially prepared fabrics uh, which are not woven or uh, like felt and bark cloth and they are prepared by <coughs> different mechanism than the normal fabric and <coughs> also uh, there are some other methods of formation or production of fabric material like uh, a single thread is looped or plated with to form some netting uh, materials just like lasses vera jo hoti hai unko banaya jata hai so their mechanism of formation is different in, in, in which one thread is used to uh, single threads are used <coughs> and among the uh, different uh, types of textile jo humne bhi discuss ki hai ki jo hamare uh, paas textile hoti hai depend karta hai ki inke liye hum fiber kaun sa use kar rahe hain natural use kar rahe hain synthetic fiber use kar rahe hain uh, ya some inorganic fiber use kar rahe hain iske alawa depending ke jo raw material use kar rahe hain uski quality kya hai usko knitting ki ja rahi hai ya usko just composite banaye ja rahe hain whether uske upar embroidery hai ya nahi hai ya kaleen material uh, bana rahe hain so there are uh, different categories of the textile product and uh, normally uh, these days mostly these uh, products are actually prepared in factories on uh, different kind of machines which are used for that purpose and <coughs> normally the most of the products which are using these days are uh, machine produced but still uh, which achi uh, products and there are some really fine velvets brocades and uh, especially the table linens they are still uh, actually made by hand although uh, these handmades are uh, expensive one uh, but uh, they are of really fine quality <coughs> 
so these are the different types of textile uh, materials or products uh, which are uh, commonly uh, available in the market or we, we come across each day now let's have a look about the uh, world's largest producers or exporters of the textile product so as expected china is at the top of the table as you can see in this diagram this is the diagram which shows the 10 uh, largest uh, produ uh, producers of textile products and the values are given in exports in billion us dollars so and the, at the top is china which has the textile exports of around 119 billion us dollars that is actually per year and then after uh, china there is european union it it has a, a textile product exports of about 74 billion us dollars per year and then jab aap the individual countries ki baat kar rahe after you can see that of china is 119 and then the third number third is india or jiski product chain that is around one sixth of china it's around only 18 billion us dollars per year so clearly the china is the winner here and uh, actually the china ki uh, jo textile products and they are used all over the world aap kahin bhi chahte hain anywhere in the world so many of the product uh, use kare, you will see in the restaurants or in the offices they are mostly made in china so those are so china is actually has captured the uh, markets all uh, along uh, all in the globe and we will see the chinese product everywhere <coughs> and that is uh, evident here that 119 billion us dollars China uh, uh, ex mm, gets every year from the exports of textile products and after the India there is United States which has a uh, export of around 14 billion US dollars and then there is Turkey around having 12 billion US dollar export per year of the textile products and then there is the Republic of Korea which is also known as South Korea Jirubi Korea which has key products will be uh, uh, stand carry on the sixth position with around 10 billion US dollars per year and after Korea there is Taipei Chinese Taipei and then Vietnam and then on the ninth position is Pakistan and then Hong Kong China so <coughs> We can see that we are lacking around at ninth position in our world's exporters of the textile product, but still we are in the top ten. And in next slide, uh, uh, we will discuss about the uh, textile industries of Pakistan. So now let's move towards the textile industry of Pakistan. So we should know that textile industry is the largest manufacturing industry in Pakistan and being the largest industry manufacturing industry of Pakistan it contributes about 8.5 percent of the GDP of the Pakistan and the more Im important factor or parameter which we uh, should uh, know is that the textile industry actually employs around 45 percent of the total labor force in Pakistan which means that 45 jo labor in Pakistan mein jo kaam kar rahi hai, that is actually directly or indirectly related with the textile industry so this shows how important is the textile industry for people of Pakistan as a country and as individual at the individual level as half of our workforce or the labor is working in with the textile industry so if there is a growth of textile industry there is development in the textile industry that will mean that it is actually the development of pakistan and the poor people of the country so it applies in the vice versa that if there is some negative 
things related with the textile industry are as we know that there is a lot of talk about these days about the uh, shutting down of different textile industries in Pakistan due to definitely competition from Chinese product and that actually uh, the result is that our labor force uh, that is actually they are getting unemployed so I think the stress should be uh, applied towards the development of textile industry in Pakistan at, as it's really important for the uh, labor force of the Pakistan for their survival <coughs> When we talk about uh, textile industry, the one of the major speciality of the Pakistan when we talk about the textile industry is the cotton products. So we uh, are the fourth largest uh, producers of cotton, and among the when we talk about the cotton, the the most important parameter is the spinning capacity, and we are the third largest. Uh, we have the third largest spinning capacity in Asia after China and India and Pakistan contributes around 5% to the actually the global spinning capacity so that again shows that uh, the textile industry hai, how important it is and uh, kitne, uh, significantly uh, jo Pakistan ki develop mein, development mein apna role play kar sakti hai. So, now we have talked about textile, uh, what uh, are the textile industries and types, hai, what are the categories of different textile industries and products and then we uh, briefly overview who are the largest exporters of the textile products, what is the textile uh, industry developed, which is the most textile product produced, definitely it is China. And then in the last slide we discuss briefly about the textile industry of Pakistan that how important it is, how large it is and how it is uh, contributing to the development of the country itself. So now uh, the next uh, we will move towards the tech, uh, another important parameter for any industry which is the raw material. So textile raw material uh, kya hote hain? So, <coughs> any uh, substance or any material which is used for the manufacturing of textile product is uh, called the textile raw material. So, कोई भी uh, substance है, कोई भी material है कि जिसको हम किसी भी जो हमारे पास fabric बन रही है, कुछ जो बाकी material बन रहे हैं, जो textile में बन रहे हैं, so कोई भी जो uh, material hai jo hum raw material jo hum use kar rahe hain jo hum initially koi cotton use kar rahe hain hum koi chemical use kar rahe hain hum koi dye use kar rahe hain jo bhi usme use ho raha hai uske banane mein kisi bhi textile product ke chahe wo fabric hai chahe wo kapda hai clothing hai whatever that is so any ingredient that is involved in the manufacturing of that product is known as raw material so we can uh, define uh, textile raw material as the primary substances which are used as an input to produce final textile products are called textile raw material yani ke wo tamam primary material jo ke hum istemal karke final product banate hain unko textile raw material kaha jata hai so textile uh, raw materials are uh, selected as per the manufacturing policy of the company it depends uh, up, for example if you uh, make uh, you are making some kind of bed sheet agar aap bana rahe, for example so uske liye jo raw material use ho hai, that can be different for in different companies in different industries and in different countries for example, if you are talk uh, if you talk about Vietnam, which is uh, the seventh largest exporters of the textile products worldwide, so uh, what is the most famous actually uh, cloth of uh, Vietnam? That is actually the silk. The Vietnamese silk is really famous all, all around the world, and that is of really fine quality. So the raw material which will be used over there will be different from the raw material which are using in we are using in Pakistan because mostly the cotton of uh, Pakistan is really a uh, famous and that is actually a uh, major uh, component of the uh, textile products in Pakistan which are used for like making cloths 
so depending on the country depending on the company and depending on the application where we are you going to use that product so the textile materials will be different so they are mostly selected uh, based on the manufacturing policy of the company and the end use of that product <coughs> or uh, this is uh, the uh, definition ki what are the textile materials and how they are selected and then in the <coughs> next uh, we will uh, study about the individual textile raw materials what are the categories of textile raw materials and what they are so we will in next slide we will inshallah discuss in detail about the textile raw materials so when we talk about uh, any textile product or any fabric or any material so the most important thing which determines the quality of any textile product is the quality of raw material the quality of raw material determines the quality and usage and the fineness of the end product तो जब तक आप अच्छा रॉ मटेरियल यूज नहीं करते आप अच्छी प्रोडक्ट प्रोड्यूस नहीं कर सकते सो so, जो क्वालिटी होती है रॉ मटेरियल की दैट uh, वो डिसाइड करती है कि आपके पास जो फाइनल प्रोडक्ट आ रही है जो वो किस क्वालिटी की होगी सो दैट शोस के हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज द क्वालिटी ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल the selection of uh, raw materials and is a very important step in any textile industry in in and everywhere in the world and uh, when we uh, talk about the categories of different kind of raw materials so we can uh, broadly speaking we uh, divide the textile uh, raw materials into four different categories the first uh, uh, type of raw material which is used for manufacturing of different textile product is fibers so the individual fibers which are used for the uh, production of textile products that is the one type of raw material then the second uh, type of the or the category of uh, raw materials used in textile industry is fabric and the third uh, important uh, kind of Uh, raw material the third important category is the dyes which are used for the manufacturing of the textile product and fourth and the last uh, category for the textile raw materials used in the manufacturing process is chemicals and auxiliaries which are really important for manufacturing of the textile products so these are the four main categories which we uh, study under the types of uh, raw materials or textile raw materials so next in we will discuss in details and with examples all of these four categories let's now discuss in detail about the uh, textile raw materials and first one uh, is the fibers so uh, naturally there are multiple kind of fibers which are uh, present over there and which have has been utilized for centuries for making many kind of products in for example cloth but besides the natural fibers uh, which are present or which are available for making different textile products now a days there are, is a production of a variety of different kind of man made fibers that can also be used for the manufacturing of textile products but uh, normally uh, uh, most of the products or most of the textile products which are uh, being used in the world today are made from the natural fibers so fiber is a uh, if we have to define a fiber what is a fiber fiber is a matter which includes uh, which includes flexibility fineness and a high ratio of length to thickness and a fiber should necessarily have a length to diameter of at least 1000 to consider it a fiber 
and uh, besides the length to diameter ratio there are some other characteristics characteristics which are required for the textile fibers depending on where we are using that particular textile product <coughs> for example in certain cases there is, uh, there is uh, higher stability is required at the high temperatures depending on where we are using that fibers similarly for some application we need more strength or the elasticity so that actually depends totally depends where we are going to use that fiber or what uh, use that product so depending on the final use of the uh, textile product or fabric so uh, uh, choo we choose the type of fiber so hamare paas jo hai wo different tarah ke jo fiber hain wo available hain Uh, mostly you have a natural fiber sadiyon se use ho rahe hain there are also we have some synthetic or man made fiber lekin mostly jo hai wo jo product hum dekhte hain aur duniya mein jo banti hain zyada tar natural fibers for example silk hai ya cotton hai unse banayi jati hain ye kapas is hai jo hai wo bahut zyada hum use karte hain pakistan mein so fiber ko define jab aap karte hain to mostly jo fiber ke liye ek requirement hai aap fiber tab kehte hain ki agar uski jo लेंथ और डायमीटर रेशो है एटलीस्ट वन टू हंड्रेड होनी चाहिए अगर इससे कम हो तो हम उसको फाइबर के अंदर इंक्लूड नहीं कर सकते और मेन पर्पज़ ऑफ द फाइबर जो है वो दे वो होता है कि वो फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी देता है वो फाइननेस देता है जो है आपकी प्रोडक्ट को इसके अलावा डिपेंडिंग कि आपने अपना जो फैब्रिक है जो जो फाइनल जो प्रोडक्ट है आपने उसको कहाँ पर यूज़ करना है तो उसकी बेस पे जो है वो आप फाइबर सेलेक्ट करते हैं कि आपने उसको अप्लाई कहाँ पर करना है और डिपेंडिंग के आपकी जो एप्लीकेशन क्या है फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपने जो कोई फैब्रिक है वो हाई टेम्परेचर पे यूज़ करना है तो उसके लिए जो आप फाइबर यूज़ करेंगे आप डिफरेंट तरह के फाइबर यूज़ करेंगे जो कि आपको स्टेबिलिटी देंगे हाई टेम्परेचर पे अगर आपने किसी ऐसी जगह यूज़ करना है कि जहाँ पर आपको उसकी जो स्ट्रेंथ ज़्यादा चाहिए तो वहाँ पर आप और तरह का फाइबर यूज़ करेंगे जहाँ पर आपको इलास्टिक मटीरियल चाहिए वहाँ पर आप और तरह का फाइबर यूज़ करेंगे सो बेसिकली द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द फाइबर फॉर Uh, manufacturing any textile product it depends totally of the on uh, the application where we are going to use that material the final application of a textile product determines the type of fiber to be used in the manufacturing process when we uh, discuss about the types of fiber which are used for the manufacturing of textile products so there is a huge variety there is a wide variety of the fiber that can be used or which are in use so we have uh, different sources like hamare pas uh, there are plant sources like we are using cotton which is taken from a plant we are uh, dealing with some uh, sources which are animal like we are taking uh we are silk or wool and then there are fibers uh, which are man made we like acrylic or nylon or those kind of product and then there are mineral kind of uh, fiber like we use from for asbestos for example so uh, there are wide uh, variety of the sources for uh, obtaining fibers and multiple kind of uh, fibers are actually uh, used in making different product and that actually again uh, as we discussed previously it totally depends ki aapne jo hai un fibers ko uh, jo hai wo kahan use karna hai us fabric ko kahan use karna hai based on that we decide ki what kind of fiber we use we use a uh, vegetative uh, source of fiber which has a vegetative source or from animal source or uh, we need to synthesize some Uh, fibers in the laboratory are we used to ha have some inorganic materials so that choice is totally dependent on the end use of the product but overall if we just uh, want to name some of the commonly used type of fibers then then they are listed here in this slide which you can see that uh, some of the fiber which are commonly used are cotton silk wool polyester nylon spandex flax acrylic aramide polyethylene and polypropylene etc so there are many many varieties of the fiber which are used for making textile product 
and some of them we have written uh, our hair which we can you can see there but uh, apart from this commonly used fiber hum jo hai specially kai aur design karte hain jo lab mein synthesize kiye jate hain if we have some certain kind of application so depending on the application many other kinds of fibers are also used in the manufacturing of textile products what do we mean by types of fibers fibers are just thin and long threads right not entirely so tell me which types of clothes are preferred by us during summer soft and light clothes usually made up of cotton right and during winter cozy and thick woolen clothes occupy the list bags which are made up of fabric need to be strong rather than comfortable this tensile strength is provided by jute fibers and what about the soft and glossy clothes used in daily life they are made up of acrylic fibers these few examples indicate that there are variety of fabrics available for our use for our simplicity we divide fibers into two major categories one category is natural fibers and the second category is synthetic fibers natural fibers as the name says are obtained from natural sources so what could the sources be needless to say the sources would be both plants and animals can we list a few examples of each type plants like cotton and jute give us natural fibers similarly animals like sheep goat camel and so many are also used for their fur and fleece in contrast to these natural fibers the synthetic ones are made by us in the laboratories or industries to be precise nylon polyester acrylic all these fibers are the best examples to study the synthetic fibers category lastly do you know that some synthetic fibers are made using natural fibers as the starting material yes it's true natural fibers are chemically processed and modified significantly to gain another category of fibers these are called semi synthetic fibers rayon artificial wool are a couple of examples of this category however natural fibers still top the chart especially in the garment industry for its various benefits over synthetic fibers next So these are the references and some homework for you guys to do at home. So uh, the following uh, different source materials were used in the preparation of this lecture. You guys may consider those for uh, if you need have some if you want to go in the detail of that material. And all of you have to do some assignment. And actually, I want you to. study about the major textile industries of pakistan and especially those which are uh, playing a major role in the uh, export of uh, export of uh, those textile products and you should uh, study about their growth prospect uh, whether and how these industries can grow and increase the exports of our country and also the challenges these industries are facing when they try to expand their business and to look after and to look for the more uh, opportunities for exports worldwide please uh, search about uh, these uh, materials and study and have a better understanding about the industry industrial status textile industry status of pakistan So that's all for today thank you so much for listening and for your patience in case you haven't understand anything from this lecture so you are free to ask so please let me know if you don't understand anything thank you allah hafiz